if you want to gain some fps turning your shadow quality to low will just do that however the real question is that does it come with a competitive cost shadows are actually bugged and the same settings can get very different results and it gets even more complicated i went through some research work so you don't have to and i was surprised to find out the answers and so will you and more on that after a word from the sponsor do you want to sell your cs skins for real money then check out the sponsor of this video sellyourskins.com the best place to sell your skins instantly sign in with your steam account select all the skins that you want to sell and select any payment method to receive your money instantly the site offers paypal bank transfer revolut crypto and many other payment methods you can also get an extra five percent bonus if you enter my promo code cook use the link in the description so first no questions asked this setting should be same for everyone that is your dynamic shadows should always be set to all because if you don't do that you'll not be able to see any shadows that are indoors but only the shadows that are cast by the sun so over here you can see the sun shadow and if I move a little bit away, you'll see that there is a render distance for the shadow for player models. So now you can see the shadow just disappears. But if I move a bit closer, the shadow appears. So there seems to be kind of a margin where the shadow disappears. So what happens if we change the setting from low to medium to high? So let's try that. So let's change it to medium and let's see what results we get. So as you can see, the distance is still the same and there's no difference i'm gonna again change it to high to make sure that we are not missing anything again let it load up and again we're gonna move back in front so again the render distance is the same when it comes to sunlighting let's try the last option as well which is very high and let's check that as well so let's move close and far away again and you'll see that the shadow is kind of rendering just like this so it doesn't really make a difference so it's a good habit to set it at low now here are some more examples you may not be able to see but these are actually two different images so when i'm moving my mouse from left to right these two images are overlapping on each other and you can't even tell them apart it looks like i'm just dragging my mouse over the same image same concept here so you can see that it basically makes no difference to the shadows other than the pixelation however the indoor shadows get a little bit frisky so you can see the render range is quite less so if i move away it's quite less than the sun range however if i zoom the shadow starts appearing again let's move back again the shadow appears again now uh, what if I set the setting to very high? Let's go ahead and do that. Now we have set the setting to very high. Now let's look at how indoor lighting is handled. So now you can see the shadow just completely disappeared. Like what? The low is having better performance than high and is also showing shadows more. Well, not really this is a map specific problem so if you see when i'm moving far away the shadows start appearing again it's kind of hilarious i think it's a bug over vertigo which they need to fix because it doesn't happen over other maps that i have noticed maybe there are some other spots as you can see over here the settings set to low and high very high actually have barely any difference like you can't make any difference out of it so again setting it to low would be a safer bet so by doing this evaluation we have understood that the lighting which is the sun lighting has a render range so a lot of the times you won't be able to see light if you are out of that render range so a better practice would be to just set low therefore how much frames or optimization are we going to get so i conducted some benchmarks you can find my system specifications in the description and also the video settings I use to get these metrics in the description. So these are my findings. A very popular resolution which is 1280 to 960 used by a lot of pros which is 4.3 as well. The shadows are set to high and we get an average FPS of about 436 and 1% low of about 209.
when we change the shadow setting to low we get the fps boost of up to 60 points and it also increases our one percent low our average fps jumps to about 494 and our one percent low increases to 236 but it's almost close to the 240 hertz refresh rate next 1920 by 1080 when shadow is set to high i get an average fps of 376 and then one person lows of 186 which is not really surprising since we are having kind of extra pixels to display again when it's set to low we again see a fps increase of more than 50 and we get an average fps of 425 and better average lows so my recommendation right now the lighting is kind of a little bit bugged so this build will kind of change however i would still recommend setting it to low because that is better and more optimal for now.